Hi, my name is Aaron Fullen. This is my beautiful wife, Tabby, our daughter, Bella Rose, and my two-week-old son, Quinn. John 15, 13 says, Greater love hath no man than this, that he lay down his life for a friend. Perhaps the greatest example of this, aside from Jesus Christ himself, are those who selflessly serve on our armed forces. Today is Memorial Day, a day we set aside to honor and remember the brave men and women who have fallen to protect our great country, the United States of America, and not only the country itself, but the freedoms that make this country great. In recent years, we have seen a troubling trend, a trend that diminishes and even demonizes the work of our military. And yet, the military they denounce is the very reason people are allowed to express such a sentiment. Famous parliamentarian Edmund Burke noted, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Today we remember those few good men, the men, the women, the fathers and mothers, the husbands and wives who have sacrificed everything so that we might be free. We are proud to be Americans. We are proud of our military. And we are so thankful to each and every member of our armed forces. It's easy to complain. Our country doesn't do this. Our country doesn't do that. But let us remember that America's freedom to complain came at a very high cost. The blood of some of the most honorable men and women this world has ever hosted. To all of those who have served in the armed forces of the United States of America, past and present, from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you. Please know that your service and sacrifice don't go unnoticed or unappreciated. And now, in honor of our fallen warriors, please enjoy this moving performance of the little-known hymn, Mansions of the Lord, performed by the West Point Cadet Glee Club, of which my brother Sean was a member. May God bless our servicemen, may God bless their families, and may God bless America. <laughs>